Hey guys, the purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about hooking up an Arduino to the Centroid Acorn board. Um, so this little background, the reason why I'm getting into this had to do with uh, my, my effort to try to use the uh, analog output on the Acorn board to replace the potentiometer on the small uh, you know, mini lathes and mini milling machines and those types of machines. Machines like this. So basically, you know, replace this potentiometer with the uh, analog output on the Acorn board. And long story short, um, had a few issues doing that. I actually even fried a board. So, and I think it's because of the way the uh, DC controllers on the mini lathes are made. Uh, there's something bad voltage is coming back through the uh, the ground and uh, I'm, I'm not totally into electronics so I, I can't 100% explain why that's happening but uh, I fried a board messing around with that so whatever I thought maybe I just would take a different route and try something here with the Arduino so I want to show you what I did just in case it's useful to any of you guys and maybe, hopefully, uh, someone out there who knows more about electronics may add to this conversation and comment a little bit on this video and help fill in some of the missing pieces here for me. So, so here we go, uh, hooking up the Arduino to the Centroid board. So here's, here's what I have going on here. I have the 10-volt uh, you know, common and 10-volt analog output. What I've done here is I've... I've stacked up a, a voltage dividing resistor. And what I have here is I have, I know this looks really crazy, but I have 10 1 mega ohm resistors. And then I have 10 more 1 mega ohm resistors. So I have 20, 20 mega ohm resistors here to, to form a voltage dividing circuit. So I have 10 and then another 10. So the way this works is the voltage... Well, I know you're supposed to talk negative to, to positive, so I'll do that. So here's your, here's your negative voltage coming out of the analog output. It goes through 10 1 mega ohm resistors. Then I tap off of that, and I come over here to the analog input on the Arduino. right? And then I have 10 more 1 mega ohm resistors, and then I have positive voltage back to the acorn board. And then naturally I have the the ground or the common or whatever you want to call it on the Arduino board. It's it's tied in with the the common on the uh, acorn board. And here's here's what's going on. So this is 10 volts is coming out of here out of the acorn board. The Arduino can only read 5 volts. So that's what's going on with the voltage dividing circuit. This circuit takes the 10 volts or whatever voltage comes out of the acorn, this voltage dividing circuit cuts it in half. And uh, so, you know, 10 volts divided by two is five volts. So now you have a maximum voltage coming into the Arduino that is compatible with it. The Arduino can only read like 5.5 volts or something like that. Beyond that, you blow it up. So, so basically, instead of going zero to 10 volts, we're going zero to five volts and the Arduino is reading it. And what I have over here is I have a little sketch in Arduino that's just basically reading that analog input, figuring it out, doing a little bit of math, and then it's returning the voltage to me. And it's actually doing it in such a way that it's, it's giving me the, the actual voltage. So right now, I have my, just to keep it simple, I told CNC12 that my maximum spindle speed is 1000 RPM, and it's currently seeing a command of 1000 RPM. And right now what the Arduino is telling me is that the, uh, the Centroid Acorn board is outputting 10.05 volts, which is what I measured it to be with my multimeter. At maximum RPM, the Acorn's outputting 10. 5 volts. If we go back to 
the Centroid software and we just give it a command here, we'll cycle start that. Okay, so now CNC12 thinks we're running 500 RPM. That would be half of the maximum voltage. And now the Arduino is reading uh, about 5 volts. And I also have a little routine. The, the voltage is controlling the speed at which the LED blanks, blanks and uh, the, the speed at which it's refreshing the screen. So higher RPM, the faster the LED blanks, which is, you know, no big deal. It's just kind of a visual thing here. So if I put it back on 10,000 RPM, you see it blinks a lot faster. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell without getting too complicated. The Arduino is reading the voltage coming out of the Acorn board. And then once you know that voltage, you can use the Arduino to do all kinds of other things with it. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to pursue this any further, but you know, one of the things I, that I was thinking, I'm trying to imagine ways, trying to imagine ways of controlling the spindle speed on one of these little mini lathes or on the milli, mini milling machine. Basically all I want to do is I want to replace this potentiometer. And uh, so far I've been unsuccessful in, in and wiring that up. I told you I actually fried an acorn board doing this. Although, well, the acorn board's actually a lot more resilient than what you would realize. The board that I fried, this is, this is actually the board that I fried right here. And uh, it's still functioning. But you can see I blew up this diode here, or whatever that is. I think it's a diode. And that's why I believe the, uh, the voltage is coming back through the, the ground. And I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the, the way the mini lathe uh, DC speed controller is wired. But you know what? The Acorn board took it like a champ. Uh, even though there were smoke and flames, the board never stopped working. It's actually still working, but, uh, but I know I did something bad to it. So it's, you know, that was my fault. But, but hey, the thing's a champ took it like a champ. But anyway, I would like to not do that again. And maybe I would like to find a, a better way to replace that potentiometer. So one, you know, one of the silly things I was thinking is I could actually use the Arduino to drive a little stepper motor and build a little module where there's a stepper motor that actually turns a potentiometer to control speed. I know it sounds sounds kind of funky, but I've, I've seen setups like that. Um, I know there's, maybe there's a way to do this with a MOSFET, but I, I think the, the main thing is have to maintain some kind of uh, optical isolation between all the voltages and the, the mini lathe controller and uh, the rest of the electronics and the Acorn. I am not an electrical engineer. This is kind of beyond my, uh, my skill set here. So if any of you guys have any comments that would be helpful, I would really like to hear them. Um, if not, you know, maybe this will be helpful to someone out there. You know, you could use the same principle with really, you know, any of the outputs coming out of the, the Acorn board, you know, as long as you can get your current limiting resistors in there and get the voltages down to, uh, you know, something the Arduino can handle, you know, literally you can... You know, you, you can start doing some pretty cool things. Um, you know, maybe some outside of the box type of stuff here. Okay, thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching this video. If you have anything helpful, please share it with me. I'd appreciate that very much. Um, be safe and have a great day.